Ladies and gentlemen, the star of Politically Incorrect, Bill Maher. Bill's guest tonight, actress Tia Carrere, artist and renaissance man Todd Lundgren, radio talk show host Ken Hamlin, and comedian Reno Collier. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I know why you're here to get your daily Elion Gonzalez fix. Let me catch you up on the news. They have moved him. He's now in a house at the Y River Plantation, uh, living there with his father. Uh, uh, Janet Reno had to report to Congress, and President Clinton uh, weighed in today. He said, you know, leave this family alone. They've been through enough. He said, I know what it's like to be desperate enough to try hiding someone in a closet. He's... <laughs> Yeah, now the, the relatives, the, the cuckoo, nutty, drunken relatives of Elian Gonzalez, who had him kidnapped before they snatched him back, uh, they, every day they make another wild, insane accusation. Today they said, I couldn't make this up. They said, President Clinton is being blackmailed by Fidel Castro. That's why Clinton wants the boy here. He does not want him to go back to Cuba, because Castro was blackmailing Clinton with telephone sex tape. <laughs> I, I couldn't make this up. Um, and, you know, we cannot let some foreign dictator blackmail our president about sex. That is the job of the Republicans in Congress, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> we'd have to find out about his sex life. Well, um, <clears throat> Yeah, the other thing the crazy relatives want to do is they're, they're up in Washington. They followed the kid up there to Washington. They don't seem to have jobs. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they are pressing for a shared living arrangement. They're like, this is going to work. Some sort of house where they could all live together. Uh, psychologists are saying this is not really workable, but it is a great sitcom uh, premise for Paul Rodriguez. They think that he could... <laughs> Kind of, I love Lucy meets the Brady Bunch. Just really, really. All right. And finally, uh, Vermont, the state of Vermont, anybody, has made history uh, today. Finally, they are the first state where gay couples have the exact same rights as any other married couple. Uh, they are expecting a lot of gay people now to want to move to Vermont. Uh, that is, until they find out that the closest thing they have there to a disco is Bingo Night at the Elks Lodge. <laughs> Thank you. Let us meet our panel, a very funny comedian who performed at this year's Aspen Comedy Festival, Reno Collier. Reno, hey. How are you doing? Good to see you. He's a columnist and radio host, and his book is Plain Talk and Common Sense from the Black Avenger, Ken Hamblin. Ken. Ken. Good to see you. Okay. All right. All right. Ken, unless you're on heroin right now, take the glasses off. All right, he's an innovative singer and founder of the online entertainment company, Patronet.com. His new song is I Hate My Frickin' ISP. Don Rundgren right over there. Oh. Well, yeah, I'm uh, yeah, I know. You, please, it's okay. We I know, I know you before, are yeah. on heroin. Okay. <laughs> and she is the beautiful actress and star of the popular TV show, Relic Hunter, Tia Carrera, yeah! <laughs> Gorgeous. Hi, nice to see you. How you doing? Good to see you. Okay. Okay. I don't know why you two guys have sunglasses on. <laughs> Sun's out in California. You I know. Get out. Not in here. I promise it doesn't make you cooler. Anyway, <laughs> I uh, we used to give out this award. Of course, Princess Symbol, who uh, you know I found out is a fan of the show, so I'm not going to make fun of him anymore. But we used to <laughs> give out the Get Over Yourself Award, which was given to him because he couldn't even use the name Prince anymore. And then we gave it out to many people who needed to get over themselves. Well, we don't do it formally anymore, but I'd like to informally give this award now to the Cubans of Miami. Get over oh! yourself. I mean, I have just had about enough. You know what? It was bad that Castro took over your island. I'm sorry, but it's not the Holocaust. Lots of people have gone through things like this. Stop holding this country hostage, this kid hostage. Well, I think they're in a they're in a vacuum in Little Havana, and they feel so self righteous in their little 
uh, piece of the world. Right. But I think there was uh, they went to to uh, Washington D.C. The and, relatives. Yes. The insane relatives. <laughs> <laughs> and and there were there were no rallying supporters. And and actually the paper said that they looked right. a little lost. They didn't know what to do because there was no one rallying behind them, going, "Yeah, it's a political thing." This is going to sound sexist, but what is it, Marislasis? Marislasis, the insane she needs cousin. To meet a nice Cuban boy and have niños. <laughs> That's it. Well, this is not a puppy. I think. Okay, she needs to have a baby, and it'll put a stop to all that. Yeah, and abuse that baby, right? Yeah. And abuse that child. Well, yeah, abuse I mean, that child. Look, yeah. I, I, the, uh, and she'll have a right to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. The point yeah. is, this person is not mentally stable, yet she's the spokesperson for the family. That's right. That's, that's yeah. right. They take the craziest right. person in the family <laughs> and make them the spokesperson well, for the family. You don't know that she's the craziest. She may be the same. She's only the one who... <laughs> she's the soberest. Yeah. She's, yeah. Someone who's, she's the one who's been in the hospital eight, eight times she's had during the, the right. stay of Elian Gazzard. Right. She has fainting spells every day. The only reason I accepted this invitation to be here today is because I knew there was only one man in America that could possibly answer the question, what was the fisherman doing there at three in the morning? I, you know, I, <laughs> what, you said she needs to get married. Is the fisherman the boyfriend now? I mean, it's very... Who knows? Why is he said drunk, uncle? And I was allowed to go there for the weekend, you know? And then my parents would come pick me out. They left this kid with these drunk people for months, weeks. But I don't know. I don't watch in the, the morning. News, but whatever the hell it was. Yeah. But I agree. What is the fisherman? <laughs> What is the, I mean, it's like, and the fisherman to, it's, what is this? <laughs> I mean, what is the fisherman doing there? This guy saw 15 minutes of fame out there at the that's, ocean. That's, and the he yeah. that's the fish he caught. I was, the, I was fortunate right. enough, across, I was fortunate one. enough, since I live in Hawaii, I just happened to tune about five minutes after the whole thing started and was able to see the entire thing, including the embarrassing performance of the news media on four or five different channels oh, and on everything that went with it. But I saw this guy give his performance, literally the same performance, to three different news cameras, one after another. Right. Exact same performance. Ooh, which, the, the, fisherman? the fisherman? Oh, you <laughs> miss Mary Slesa? Oh, no, I caught her oh, a little later. Oh, she had right. to come down Jeez. a little bit, you Jeez. know, from her. It's sex. like Judge Judy and then the other first. judge. Yeah. The fisherman's on first. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's crazy that it even got to this point. I mean, it was such a clear-cut case. No matter what you feel about Castro, no matter what you feel about, oh, the mother gave her life yeah. to give this kid a better life, the father's still alive. There is no discussion. It's, you know. Yeah, right. Why is it that, that they act like is, he's going to be... It, there's no discussion. But, but why, is it that, why is it that liberals seem to understand that and the whole conservative right wing is going bonkers, calling for investigations? And I'll tell you what, I believe this matter has caused the conservative movement in our country to give up the moral high ground. These are the people that had objections to homosexuals uh, teaching in the school. Family values. Uh, to, to exactly, uh, condoms being given out, everything else. Right. But they want the kid to live with the drunk or go to the insane cousin. I don't get it. It's, 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 it's a kernel of hypocrisy in hardcore conservatives. But I'm, I'm There's a kernel of hypocrisy in hardcore I conservatives. I am heartbroken to be associated that. with that side of the political spectrum. I mean, it is an amazing thing. Now, let's, oh, I'll say and, this. And I'll say, no, I can't <laughs> come back. I and saw what they're doing. I'm not going to be back know? over. <laughs> let's have a moment of kudos for, those, for, that, for that entire operation. Less than three minutes, smooth as silk, in, not as, the doors as down. As I always say, control. Janet Reno, the is. only one with balls in that administration. <laughs> 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 let's take a break. We'll be right back. Next week, Bill goes behind bars. It's great to be here. I mean, for me, not you. It's one week inside Arizona's 10th city jail. I've been to several prisons, both as an entertainer and as a uh, resident. Politically incorrect with Bill Maher, scared correct. All right, we were talking about the uh, Cuban community down there in Miami, and I understand that there's rifts now between a lot of the other Hispanic communities. I think that the Cubans are making them look bad. But you know what? They're not alone in this world of political correctness. I think they have a lot of help. Listen to this. A judge in uh, Appellate Court in San Francisco has ruled now, you know what profiling is, mm -hmm. right? When you no, identify... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right, driving while black. That's yeah. profiling. <laughs> okay, but listen to this. He has ruled that... The that the Border Patrol, and this is the Border Patrol on the Rio Grande with 
Mexico can no longer use Hispanic appearance as a factor <laughs> in deciding. <laughs> yeah. I can't even say this without laughing. In deciding to stop a motorist. It's about time we start catching those damn Canadians. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that not? Insane and preposterous. Well, you, you tell where the border know, is. Under it those is no. It is, they go, Bill, it is no different than any big city: L.A., Chicago, New York. Uh, a guy on the corner of Fourth and Main snatches a purse and he takes off. And the cops on patrol know that he's a male, five foot two inches. And every Italian, every African American, every Asian, every every Mexican gets stopped because dispatch won't say that he is black or Mexican or whatever. Oh, I see so it's PC saying. just going down to the border, and it's stupid. It is stupid. But There's the no Chinese people going over there. It's all Hispanic hey, people. There. You can't say Chinaman though. That's up there with saying nigger and spick. It is now politically incorrect to say Chinaman. <laughs> I'm worried. He's a yeah, Chinese. Well, you can't say Chinaman. No, that, that's racist. He's a Chinese. I said Chinese. You said, said oh, Chinaman. I'm sorry, I was China on the call. <laughs> 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 I didn't say Chinaman. That's all right. You got my back. Oh, that's Ken, cool. I mean, yeah. who, who has said Chinaman since <laughs> Jack Nicholson in Chinatown? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, but, but don't I've you think heard? this is the same as going into a black neighborhood and saying, okay, uh, and profiling black people? No. In other words. Uh, no, but the point is there are just as many brown people on this side of the border as on the other side of the border when you go along the California, well, the Texas, odds are, the odds border, are, borders on Mexico, and they're legitimate Mexican citizens the, living the in the United States. The odds are that a brown person in Minnesota is there legally. A guy in El Paso may not be. That's yeah, what, just because he's brown and he's in El, pa El Paso, well, the odds are he's not there legally? I, no, yes. you're, you're, <laughs> you're fighting El Paso? You know what you well, want to do? You want to do, we want to take over Mexico and push it back a little further, and then your argument would hold water. But are they talking <laughs> about... <laughs> not now. Are they talking about I, people I, crossing the border? So you're saying they're talking about yes, white they're talking people about, on the border I mean, on No, I'm saying As that the odds are very, very fellas. probable that when you get a brown guy with his belongings in a plastic bag and wet ankles <laughs> moving through the... That's an elaboration. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. I've been there. I've seen it. All right? Trust me. I know. But right. are they saying that they can stop yeah. people in El Paso driving they're, down the street on their way to work? Or are we talking well, about, like, no. as they're crossing the border to right. stop them and say... We're talking about the border patrol, right. whose job is to patrol the border. Now, you can argue whether that's a, a righteous thing or not, because, after all, we did steal the country. No, we didn't steal the country. Wait, wait they a second. They lost the war, That's a whole other and we spent gold for wait, it. Come on, Bill. Wait, you didn't let me finish. Uh, we stole the country, but they stole it, too. <laughs> I hate that argument yeah, that the Spanish right, people right. make. Oh, it's our country. You know what? You stole it from the Indians. Right. So, like, we're all thieves. <laughs> yeah. Another right. get over yourself. <laughs> but, okay. So you can argue that. But if you accept the status quo, that we do have to protect our borders, then are you not going to empower the border patrol to be able to look at somebody and go, oh, you know what? There's a possibility that you might be here illegally or crossing a, in. A and greater I'm possibility. Has anyone has anyone spent time with the border patrol here besides oh. myself? Oh, just, <laughs> then we can start to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 You, know what, you know what this really boils down to? <laughs> just you know what, this really, talk, you know what it really boils down to? What's that? It's even more ridiculous than you, than you realize because the border patrol will see an, a, a, an overloaded Ford van, let's yeah. say, a panel truck. <laughs> and they'll say, whoops, and they'll turn around and say, you know, this thing is down, the bumper is scraping. They pull it over, <laughs> and a bunch of brown scraping. people get out. Okay? Right there from the border, a bunch of brown people get out, and that says, well, they're all brown people, but maybe we hadn't ought to do that. <laughs> okay? That's what that said. That's how absurd it is. I thought he it pulled is. them over because it was overloaded, not because yeah. they were brown. You don't That's get it. You no, know, I don't. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Trust me. Explain it again. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Believe me. It's a hard... You know what? I was down there. I spent a week down there, did my show down there, and I spent time with a, a, a Border Patrol agents on a tour of duty, and we stopped the same guy three times in one night. <laughs> I, I give you my word. They... You know what happens? That's they are stopped. Anymore. They are stopped. <laughs> They are collected, they are taken to a detention center where federal law says we have to give them juice and cookies. <laughs> I, I, I'm serious. That dude's just and hungry. They, they ask for it, they demand it, 
that when a busload is put together, we drive them to the border, right across the other side, they get out and they mumble something in a foreign language, they turn around, <laughs> and if you hang around the border, you can pick them up again. It must be the cookies. <laughs> And if you're Ricky Martin, you can pick him up many times. Okay, we have to take a break. We'll be right. Join us tomorrow when our guest will be the ringmaster, Jerry Springer. From MTV's Love Line, Catherine McCord, actor and comedian, Guy Tory, and Rock for Life director, Brian Kemper. All right, um, continuing our theme of uh, race and ethnicity here tonight, I wanted to mention this. How many know the song Goodbye Earl? It's a huge hit for the Dixie Chicks. Uh, obviously, we're not here in Dixie, but... <laughs> But uh, it's a hit, oh, it's a crossover hit, as they say. Uh, and it's actually a catchy tune, I, I, I enjoy it myself. Um, and it's about two friends who kill Wanda's abusive husband. That's Earl, and they're saying goodbye to him, and they kill him. And now a couple of stations, more than a couple, several, have dropped the song. They won't play it. They say it sends the wrong message. Mm. Oh. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Todd's coming alive. country song. Oh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, the song, the song itself, the song itself isn't. I don't care if I hear it on the radio or not. I wouldn't. I don't listen to Dixie Chicks anyway. I listen to country music, but mm -hmm. not the Dixie Chicks. But if that were a song about a man killing a woman, the women's rights people would just flip out. It wouldn't just be taken off the air. They'd crucify him. You know, if it was a man singing a song about, hey, my wife's mean to me, then I went out and hacked her up. You know, women would freak yeah. out. All those women's yeah, rights, Willie Nelson-looking chicks would be marching all over everybody. <laughs> all right? <laughs> the senior citizens of country. <laughs> well, it's funny. We're making light of it, but it's still, it's a form of censorship. I mean, you, you have, you know, rap songs yeah. talking about killing other gangsters. You have, um, you know, yeah. uh, uh, Luca or whatever. Right. My name is Luca or My whatever it is. is yeah. and, and it is artistic uh, freedom to, to, to express himself however they are. If you don't like the song, turn the radio off. Oh, I agree But to, with to, you. to categorically say, well, you know what? Let's all band together and not play this song. That's censorship. I agree with you. People can listen to it. I mean, the song is retarded I mean, as not. far as I'm Go ahead and whether listen it's, to it. Whether it's I'm your cup of tea or not, I think they have the freedom to put but it also, on the air. I find most of the country so concertedly simple-minded that I don't know how anybody can take any of this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's the exact opposite of the blues, you know? Blues is sincere music, country music is the most insincere music made. It's like they well, sit down well, and think, what can we say? What can we say that won't really how come, expose how, anything we feel? How come country isn't you white know? blues? What's that? How come yeah, country it isn't is white blues? blues. That's the question, why isn't it? Well, it's, it is. I don't, I don't know why it's not like blues. But, but, it could but, have something to do with the people who started no, no, playing you, it. You but, opened that up, you said... Uh, you, you, you said that blues, uh, uh, you know, uh, is more legitimate than country. Well, Why blues, is it? blues, by my estimation, comes from... guy come, fighting comes from, country. Doesn't come from this, but go ahead. I was no, I'm just getting a... I did have an out-of-body experience. Go on. Well, uh, <laughs> well, the only other people who wear hats on my show are country musicians. Yeah, well... They always have a big... Hat. That's because that's because like a hopper that's, thing, that's, you know, it's because it's of like, all that African American programming. Forget country. The more important issue here today is African American death and mass murder in D.C. at the zoo. That's that's what we should be talking about. Gun control. Yeah. The thing, the thing right. you're talking about, about kids with about guns. country music yeah. being the white people. Have I another show all, all this time? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, uh, I Did had, I fall asleep <laughs> for six months? No. I had an no. out of network <laughs> experience. <there. laughs> Folks, you didn't Please. change I mean, I heard it coming on with an agenda. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's right. Why don't you just change uh, chairs uh, here for a yeah. second? Yeah. Roof. But, I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> look, I, 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 good. I grew up in New Jersey. So, I mean, I didn't really grow up listening to country music right. either. It just wasn't part of our diet. But... Uh, but, you know, I listen to the songs, the records, when I have a guest on the show. And I, 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 I mean, it's, it's not to my ear my favorite kind of music. But I don't think it's totally without merit. And I don't think it's any less valid than the blues because it's, it's about people I didn't say who it was are, without merit. I said, uh, you know, I mean, all music uh, soothes the soul of some savage beast, presumably, you know. Right. And it's tailored <laughs> to do so in, most, in many cases, you know. But the problem is the country has always had this idea of what is allowed to be country. 
and that's what keeps it so damn right. white. Right, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's true. The fact that you can't really reveal a sincere emotion, or you couldn't sincerely say you'd like to shoot your well, husband. What do you mean? You, know? well, you can't no reveal more, a sincere that, emotion. What, is, what could be more well, sincere like, than maybe, I'm so maybe lonely? Maybe broke I, my heart, you know? Oh, there is a sincere emotion. Oh, right, you know? like I can't get no satisfaction is poetry compared <laughs> yeah. to that. <laughs> the point is, all lyrics suck. <laughs> They're all stupid. You can say that all lyrics suck, but you could, but but you can't necessarily say that that all lyric all lyrics contribute nothing at all to to your uh, understanding of the person singing it. And that's the problem with country music. It's so much the same, mostly because it's an industry. A lot of the people who sing the songs don't write the songs. They're written by professional songwriters, produced by professional record producers for professional okay. stars. And but I are just like old professional music. talk show host. I have to take it. <laughs> Who's the greatest country music? The greatest country Ray singer of all time is Ray Charles. Ray Charles. I love that he said that. <laughs> oh, it's Jerry Springer tomorrow with Catherine McCord from MTV, Guy Torrey, and Brian Kemp.